You know how you can really like somebody on a reality show and then they kind of get annoying, but you still really like them? That's how I feel about Caroline Stanberry. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I am super excited to be covering Ladies of London. Season 3, Episode 4, Tantrums and Titles. You guys, I... <laughs> I'm getting bummed because we're running out of episodes. Don't worry, we're going to find something else to watch when this is all over. You can leave me a comment below if there's something that you have in mind that you want to see. Um, but I love this show. I'm not ready for it to be over. I love London. I love seeing all around it. I love these ladies. I'm having so much fun with this season. We're going to get into the Caroline Stanberry of it all. You guys, she really let me down. What are you going to do? Let's get into the episode. Hey guys, I just want to take a second and say if you're enjoying this show, please check out my Patreon. Go to patreon.com, search Real Housewives Recaps, or check the comments below and I'll put a link. And for a dollar a week, you can support my show and get four bonus episodes per month. I'm covering Scary Island, like the greatest season of Real Housewives in New York. So check it out. Thanks so much. Uh, I always forget to mention, I watch this on, I pay for that YouTube TV, um, which I love. I use the heck out of it. It's, uh, it, if you search Ladies of London, you can actually find the whole catalog of episodes. That's where I watch this. So if you remember, we left off at Mapperton. Julie's making a big deal out of everything, shocker. And uh, she, this is her first dinner she's hosting for friends. Usually she's a guest in the home, now she's the hostess. This is a big deal for her. Adela is telling Caroline Stanberry that she can be spoiled and rude. Caroline Stanberry is acting spoiled and rude. I don't understand what this fight is even about. Caroline Stanberry keeps saying she doesn't like rules, she doesn't like rules. Now, somebody, and now I can't remember who, I believe it's uh, Caroline Fleming, points out, Hmm, interesting that she says that because she has rules at her house like taking off your shoes. Everybody has rules. I don't I mean, I don't think rules is the right word even. More just like things you expect out of your guests. Now, Julie, in Caroline's defense, did make this big proclamation last episode where she was like, here are my house rules. No going out front to smoke. No passing food back and forth. I mean, these are all things that they've done in the past, but... I will say Julie was being a little bit over the top about the rules thing. But when you're a guest in somebody's home, you kind of have to deal with their BS, <laughs> their rules, whatever you want to call it. Like, you just kind of have to suck it up and deal with it. I mean, we're talking, they're not even staying at the house. So we're talking, what, like four hours? Like, you, you, could, you could put up with it. It's not that big of a deal. I don't understand what this was about. Um... Julie seems to think Caroline Stanberry is jealous over her title. I don't know that that's even it. I don't know what it is. I feel like Caroline Stanberry has one foot out the door. She's ready to go to Dubai. She brings it up later in the episode. So I, maybe it's easier to pick fights with people and just leave. I'm not real sure. Um, I loved Caroline Fleming in the scene. She is so me because even during this fight, she says to camera, I'm not going anywhere. This food is delicious. Can I just talk about Juliet? You guys, you guys are amazing. Uh, every episode I talk about my dislike of Juliet, and every episode I get about 100,000 comments saying the same thing, and I love that. She is just over the top with Caroline Stanberry. She's latched onto her, and so far up or you know what, it's hard to watch. She's following Caroline Stanberry out. She goes back in to get her coat to leave with Caroline Stanberry. She's lecturing Adela about the way she's talking to her friend. She starts talking to Sophie about being good friends with Caroline Stanberry. Again, a reminder, Sophie is her sister-in-law. I don't, you don't, you don't get to do that, you know, like with family. <laughs> Family's always going to win, even though Caroline Stanberry doesn't act like that. I just think it was wildly inappropriate for Juliet to get so mad at um, everybody on Caroline Stanberry's behalf. I just felt like she acted like, I don't know. She's terrible. Get rid of her. Bye. <laughs> Off. <laughs> Leave the dinner party. Um, I think I mentioned the last episode. I think that Julie did a good job on this episode. Um, 
I think that Adela is so stunningly beautiful. I just find myself staring at her. Her face is so beautiful. Her skin is gorgeous. I want her hair. I want her makeup. All of it. She's beautiful. Um, okay, so back at Caroline Stanberry's, her and Juliet went to the hotel. They're telling Luke that it's just too much with the rules. Come on. What is this really about? This is ridiculous. Juliet, again, this style thing comes up later in the episode, and I just would like to point you to the dress. That's all. I'll just leave that there. Um, okay, so next morning, it is beautiful there. I really want to go to this place. When quarantine's over and the world doesn't suck anymore, let's have a big meetup at Mapperton. So Jules is on the phone with Marissa. Marissa is exhausted but remember her poor little baby Sadie had to go to the hospital she just wasn't doing well but sounds like Sadie's doing better so that's great news we see the ladies getting dressed they are going for a boat ride today so then we go this is the hotel where some of them are staying beautiful hotel right by the water it's just gorgeous so we have Sophie Caroline Fleming Jules um, Adela they're all hanging out they're getting ready for fishing. Sophie decides she's going to go upstairs and drag Caroline Stanberry out of the bed and take her fishing with them. Well, again, Caroline Stanberry, you know I love her, but she's being a butt this episode. She really is. She's being, like for somebody who hates rules, she has an awful lot of rules on what she will and will not do. And apparently, this is one of them. She will not go fishing. <laughs> so instead of just relaxing and enjoying a day with the girls. Even Adela hates fishing. So we see her like laying around on the boat, just relaxing in the sun. That's my kind of fishing trip. Um, she could have done that, but instead she decides to pout. She's like, I am not coming. Sophie's like trying to get her to go and trying to tell her, don't you understand? We care about you. Come with us. And Caroline Stanberry is just... She's being a jerk. She says to camera, she's sided with Sophie while she's getting a divorce from her brother. So remember, Sophie was married to Caroline Stanberry's brother. And she's mad that Sophie won't take up for her. Well, because you're wrong. <laughs> I feel like Sophie handled it nicely. Like, she didn't say, listen, bitch. She was more like, um, think about what you're doing, you know? Uh, Sophie asks, what did I do to upset you? Caroline Stanberry does not answer. Sophie the camera says, what happened to I'll always love and support you? We're family. So I actually really felt for Sophie this episode. I know I like her a lot, but I did. I just thought it was really crappy how Caroline Stanberry treated her. So downstairs, the girls are all hanging out. So remember this brunette that's randomly in the back? Her name's Kim. She is Caroline Fleming's friend. I feel like they tried to make her a friend of because she's in a lot of episodes, but I, there's not much to report there. Juliet's there. Of course she is. She says, Adela took it to a dark place and saying, you annihilated her talking to Adela about Caroline Stanberry. Again, Juliet is so far up Caroline Stanberry's ass, she won't let anybody get an opinion in. She won't let anybody talk. This is ridiculous. Um, Adela says she was wrong. I told her that she was wrong, and that's what a friend does. Good for you, Adela. Juliet calls Adela a nasty person. Oh, takes one to know one, Juliet. Adela says Caroline Stanberry doesn't need anyone to fight her battles for her. So they decide to all stick with the plan and go fishing. Again, Sophie comes downstairs. Uh, I felt for her. It was just a whole thing. Um... We see them fishing on the boat. Again, I just love Caroline Fleming. She just lives in her own little world. She's so funny. I she talks about all the places she's been fishing, like Iceland, and she named off all these extraordinary places. Like, it's just something you do. Um, we do see Caroline Stanberry and Luke on the beach. She's choosing to be miserable. So it is, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I just, I'm having a rough time this episode. Because, again, I really like Caroline Stanberry. I liked her this whole series. But it's tough to watch. All I can wonder is, is she really depressed? I mean, is she, she seems excited about the move. But we know in real life, she and Jim ended up splitting. So I wonder, between Gift Library breaking up, and then, uh, you know, I think it was years later, she and Jim split. So that's got to be 
That's gotta be rough. So we see everybody having fun, even Juliet, in spite of herself. Um, she doesn't want to be this little Caroline Stanberry, God forbid. But this looks beautiful where they are. I, oh gosh, I think they said it was near Dorset. It was gorgeous. Um, it's just fun to see them having fun, taking pictures. Even Juliet and Adela hug, which was shocking. Don't worry, Juliet will go back to her awful way soon. But uh, it was nice to see. Meanwhile, we see the Grinch, I mean Caroline Stanberry, going over to meet the ladies who are having a pub lunch. She says to Luke in the car, I need this like I need a hole in the head. So again, she has made up her mind that she's going to have a miserable time and try to make everybody else miserable with her. I just don't understand her attitude through all this. Okay, so the group is having fun. They are eating and... They're cheering and they're throwing french fries at the the birds. And this fish and chips plate looks so delicious. We find out that Caroline Fleming has never tried fish and chips. Um, I mean, I'm American and I've tried fish and chips. She lives in London. How has she not tried fish and chips? But uh, it looks delicious. Sarah, uh, Caroline Fleming is saying it is delicious. And then we see the bummer arrive. Caroline Stanberry walks up. And uh, you guys, when she sits down, even the way she sat annoyed me. She sat with her back to the table. She plopped right next to Juliet, turned her back to the others. And freaking Juliet says right in front of the other ladies. Now, she's just had a great day with everybody. She says right in front of the other ladies, there's a couple of conversations that were quite interesting. So, of course, she's going to do her duty and report back to Caroline Stanberry. Right up her ass she goes. Sophie, like a grown-up, says, let's have the conversation rather than you recounting it. And Sophie says, we, we love you to Caroline Stanberry. We wanted you to be part of the day. That's it. Basically, you just have to roll up your sleeves and get in. That's it. Juliet has to stand up to everybody and defend Caroline Stanberry who's quite capable of defending herself and she says she rolls up her sleeves and gets in Caroline Stanberry has to make a terrible dig at Sophie and says with my true friends Sophie's like oh okay Caroline Stanberry says I'm asking you to respect my time and stay away from me Sophie says with pleasure with effing pleasure I gotta say again I'm totally team Sophie on this one Caroline's being cruel and rude. Juliet has no personality of her own, so she has to latch on Caroline Stanberry. And it's just an awful scene to watch. She's your sister-in-law. Yeah, they're getting divorced, but it doesn't matter. She's family. That's ridiculous. I just want to remind everybody that this fight is because the group wanted Caroline Stanberry to stay at dinner and to join them on the boat ride today. You know, the things that she actually came there to do. So this is ridiculous. Again, I, I just, I don't, I don't know where Caroline Stanberry is coming from on this one. And I really want to know. So Adela is being sweet with Sophie. And I just really felt for Sophie. You know, she's going through so much. We're, we're focusing on what Caroline Stanberry is going through, losing her business and moving to another country. What about what Sophie's going through? She's getting divorced. She lost part of her family. And Caroline Stanberry is making it very clear she's not really interested in having a relationship either. You know, I'd really like to know in today's time, you know, 2021, are they friends still? I mean, do they still talk? I'd really like to know about that. So Jules pulls Caroline Stanberry aside and just, she actually handles it really well. I thought she's very gracious about it and says, listen, you were missed. People asked about you and they want you here with us. And Caroline Stanberry says, that's nice to hear. So again, that's basically the same thing Sophie was saying, but she takes it differently from Jules than she does Sophie. Uh, so they come back to the table. Jules thanks everybody for coming, and they each get a Mapperton gift bag. And P.S., I started laughing thinking about, remember when Bethany gave out the skinny girl bags and Kelly Ben Simone laid on her bed and cried because she didn't understand it? So it would be so funny if somebody burst into tears over this gift bag. But they didn't. Uh, I want a Mapperton gift bag. So it's Jam and Chutney to, for the journey home. Jules thanks them for coming and spending time through the ups and downs. 
So Sophie, Caroline Stanbury, not speaking. It's sad. Everybody's leaving. Again, I really felt for Sophie on this one. Caroline gets in the car and she immediately starts making fun of the gift bag and the dish towels. Uh, okay, so we go over to Caroline Fleming's house. She's doing yoga and Juliet and that girl they're trying to make happen, Kim, is over. So we see them doing handstands and Caroline Fleming is of course excellent at everything. Kim asks if they've spoken to anyone since the Mapperton trip. Juliet says, yeah, she's spoken to Caroline Stanberry. Shocker. They ask how she is, and she says she's annoyed. Caroline Fleming says she thought everyone cleared the air. Um, and Sophie, Carol, oh, they say, no, no, Sophie and Caroline Stanberry did not clear the air. Juliet to camera says, I feel like the girls are being shitty friends to Caroline, especially before her move. No, I think you have that backwards, Juliet. I think Caroline is being shitty to everybody else, especially before the move. They talk about Marissa. Oh, it's kind of messed up. Sorry, I cut over to pictures of Julie, but let me just tell you this real quick. So Marissa, you know, she just got out of the hospital. Her baby just got out of the hospital. Um, and she's decided she's going to fly over the Hamptons because it's her mother-in-law, Matt's mom's 80th birthday. And they talk about... I wouldn't leave a healthy infant behind, let alone one that was just in the hospital. Ooh, I think this comes up next episode. We'll see what happens there. Carolyn Fleming says she wouldn't do that personally. And if we're adding in, I wouldn't either. But not my kid, not my life. So she chose to do it. Baby's fine. All good. Um, we just kind of breeze over Jules and Luke. We find out that she's making a little bit more, more money for the store at Mapperton, but it's still not enough. They're still in the red. Um... Okay, Sophie. So she it's her son Finn's birthday. He's turning three years old. I love that name, Finn. So so cute. Okay, so she's so sweet with her boys. Her She has her family there, her friends there, food, entertainment. She's done it all. So Alex, her ex, is there, who's very good looking, by the way. Um, the sucky thing is she says to camera, she's like, she's done everything. She takes care of the kids. She handled the parties. Dad gets to fly in, spend three hours, give the kid a present, and then fly back out and be a hero. That sucks. So again, more reason I feel for Sophie. Her parents have been married for 45 years, and she feels like she's letting everybody down with this divorce. Adela is there. She asks about Caroline Stanberry. Sophie says she sent messages that she feels betrayed and that her children aren't coming to the birthday party. Again, this is Caroline Stanberry's nephew. Her kids are their cousins. That's so messed up. Adela says, you park that shit, you own it, you grow up. I love Adela. Kim, Caroline Stanberry is using the divorce to against Sophie. And, she, and Adela is saying, I think that's disgusting. Sophie says she's alone with the kids and she's vulnerable. And Caroline knows that. So then we see Caroline's sister there. She's talking to Sophie and says, Caroline St Stanberry's feeling ganged up upon. No, again, it's backwards. She's ganging up on everybody else. Caroline Fleming asks um, Alec, or I think that's her ex, it's Sophie's ex name, how do you fix a fallout with your sister? Um, he says he doesn't know and walks off laughing. Sophie says she's horrified that Caroline Stanberry and her are in this position but she says she can't care about the petty squabbles. Sophie says she just wants out. So we see a flash to next time. Marissa's back. Lunch with the girls. I do feel like drama's coming there. Matt and Marissa talk about the possibility of moving to L.A. Caroline Stanberry and Jim are talking about Sophie and all the struggles going on there. And then Adela and Sophie talk about Caroline Stanberry being awful. And then Caroline Stanberry and Adela talk. So again, that's probably not going to go great. That's it for the episode, you guys. I love this show. If you can't tell, I'm super excited to go over every single episode. It's been a long time since I've seen these, so it's just really fun to rewatch these. I'm enjoying recapping them. I hope you are too. Um, thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate it. If you do have a show when this one ends that you are interested in, or if there's one that you know of that's like this, where it's like, you know, British society or culture, or anything like that, I am down. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for all the support and the love and the comments and the thumbs up. Every single one of those. I, I just appreciate it all so much. I really do. 
You guys stay safe, stay healthy, have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.